Are you bored of the way your drums sound and want to expand your sonic vocabulary? Well, look no further because myself and John Holbrook have got all this awesome minor percussion and we're going to show you how you can expand your sound right now. Let's go. All right then guys, so as I said, today I am joined by John Holbrook. Welcome to the studio, John. Thanks for having me, right? You're very welcome. Now John is, uh, you might have seen him on Instagram. He's a little bit of a jazz extraordinaire, quite local to us, living in Hull at the moment, but is pretty prolific on the gigging scene. And one thing that I think you're probably best known for at the moment is your use of percussion on the drum kit. Yeah, I'd say that, yeah. And so today, you've brought with you all of this percussion, and we're going to have a little bit of a play around. So you're seeing it more and more these days, you know, people using percussion instruments on the kit, um, yeah. you know, bells, jingles, you know, mine are like super well known for this kind of stuff. And I've seen a lot of your Instagram posts, you, you, you playing with this sort of stuff, and it sounds absolutely incredible. And I think what we're going to do today is throw some stuff at you yeah. and see how you get on. So I think the first thing I want to look at is the bongos. I think one of the drummers, the first drummers that I saw playing with bongos was uh, Stanley Randolph, who yeah. is famous for playing with Stevie Wonder. And these are the minor headliner bongos. And we see like minor making all kinds of content at the moment, people playing this kind of stuff. So I think we'll stick them on the kit and see how we get on and we'll have yeah. a little bit of a chat. But my mission today do, John, is to stick as much percussion on this kit as possible All and it, go yeah. from sort of this, it's not a basic drum kit, you've got a beautiful sounding drum yeah. kit, but I want to go from sort of your traditional looking drum kit to something completely different. And all of this stuff is without breaking the bank, really. We're trying to not break the bank, but completely change our drum sound and come up with something new and fresh. And I think when you're exploring ideas, I don't know, you as a drummer, I think you're quite an experimental guy. And would you say like percussion helps you it does, yeah. It just sometimes it's that little that little change is yeah. enough to spark quite a lot of ideas. Yeah. Um, as opposed to yeah, taking something and completely changing it. Maybe sometimes just that little change is all you need. I know. Some, for me, sometimes what I'll do is I'll crank the drums up or tune them down to kind of get a little bit yeah. of a different feeling. But sometimes you can you can exhaust that. So adding these extra textures. That's a, yeah. that's a coin saying of mine. The extra texture and different sounds. You can really get something new. So. Let's slap these bongos on the kit. Nice. Actually, I'll tell you what, first of all, let's have a little performance from you. If you want to play some grooves for us. All right. Um, we'll have a little listen, and then we'll add the bongos and see what you come up with that's slightly different, okay? Cool, yeah. Nice, man. I guess we're kind of, you're almost in that sort of avant-garde space anyway, aren't you? Like nothing really too bit, yeah. linear and it's not like a, a normal journey or a normal groove, but let's slap these bongos on. Um, <laughs> in time lapse, please. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we've got the bongos set up and they are really beautiful looking set of bongos. What color is that? Uh, flamingo pink. Flamingo pink, and that was your first choice. Yeah? The, the obvious choice. The yeah. obvious choice. Wow, they look absolutely fantastic. They and they do, sound right? great as well. And you've got the minor bongos down there as well, yeah. which makes them super easy to fit into the kit. And I guess it's like an alternative to toms and having a, a different tom sound. You can place them in different places as well. You don't have to have them just there. So why don't you give us a little, little tinkle? We'll yeah. have a little listen.
sound good, don't they? <laughs> they, they sound like bongos. They, they sound do, like yeah. cool, and, I, and it's cool that you can play them with sticks because I, I, I had bongos as a kid. I was always like afraid to play them with sticks. I think it was like a taboo, uh, and it kind of yeah. seems that that taboo has been broken. That you see more and more people playing them with sticks. Yeah, I think. Well, they've they've taken a beating so far. So and they've done all right. They've yeah. done really well. Yeah. Had them for a while. That's cool. And do you have to tune them often? Uh, I haven't tuned them very often, no. They, they've got quite a high range on them, actually. So cool. they're cool to, to kind of shut them down a little bit, mm. a bit more usable in some grooves. But I like um daisy tune quite high at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah show us nice. a, a couple of little grooves, see yeah. what they sound like. Yeah. Cool. Nice. It's like that. It's like that. Um, that quintessential sort of like hip hop sound, you know, with those, yeah. those bongos that, that that and that. The kind of Chris Davis. Yes, thing exactly. That's going the, on, yeah. Yeah, the Christie. Uh, yeah, the drumhead stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Do you, have you have you had a chance to get go out with these often and, and play shows with them? I've spent a lot of time in the practice room with them, and I've brought mm. them on one or two shows, and yeah. and people love them. Yeah, sure. Um, just as that little extra mm. extra thing to to throw into some groove or even just like little breakdown stuff um, mm. just to add a little bit of color people don't quite expect it but yeah and that way you don't have to hire a percussionist and you get paid more for your gig right exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah, <cool. laughs> so we have got some other bits on here that i think would be cool to add i think next we're gonna go i think we'll go for a little side snare cool and we have here this is the Minel snare timbali, if I am correct. This is a 10-inch snare timbali, and it's got a throw on and throw off. And I don't know if you can see if I hold it up to the camera. It's got like a short snare on a lever, which goes against the drum like that. So it stays stays on pretty tight as well, which is good. Uh, I think some of these, you see some, you see like sometimes you see this sort of mechanism on let's not say cheaper drums, let's say more entry-level drums, like for kids' drum kits and stuff, and, and the throw-on, like a throw-on and throw-off isn't as tight as this. And I heard this earlier, and it sounds absolutely great. So I think we'll pop this next to your next to your proper snare, and we'll have a yeah. little listen, and we'll add this as well. And I think this is a, it's a really great like alternative to buying another snare, you know, like another 600 to 1,000 pound snare. Absolutely, you get something yeah. like this. It's a little bit cheaper, but it still sounds amazing, and it gives you like totally different sound so we'll slap that on now with another little quick time lapse and some music let's go so we got there that was also relatively quick and you can see how easy it is to put these percussion instruments on the kit with these fantastic minor percussion mounts yeah. not uh, cluttering really the floor at all now so you don't, yeah, you don't have to. You got you got space for your legs yeah. to go underneath there. You could have an extra little pedal. You could have a cowbell on a pedal, all kinds of stuff. And also the the clamp allows you to to point point the L rod down or up, so you can slide it quite easily. You'd be able to chuck something else on the top there as well if you wanted to. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, it's it's a it's a really cool clamp, and it's an even better sounding side snare. So I'd be really interested to uh, to hear a couple of grooves on that. If that's mm -hmm. right with you, mate. It sounds wicked. And you know what? Normally when I think of timbali, I think of one thing, and that's, that's reggae music, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Some, myself, I've played in a lot of reggae bands that I've made. I've had to make my own timbales with like piccolo snares, you know, take the bottom head off, get a clear head. But that sounds wicked. And the added function of the snare wire, and it not even being a complete snare wire, just no. lying on it, it sounds wicked. I'm really yeah. impressed by it. So. Yeah, I'm I'm quite impressed with the the stop as well. Yeah. I, 
What I would be worried about is that when you turn the snares off, you'd still get that little bit yeah, of snare yeah. response. Um, but they actually get dampened inside once you turn mm. them off. So you don't get any snare sound at all mm. until you push them up, which is... That's really cool. That's and, really cool. And it gives you two sounds for the price of one, doesn't it? Which is yeah, which is what you want. And it's a really crisp sound, which is great for like trip hop or drum and bass yeah. or having that extra high crank sound. One of those is only at the moment one four nine from us at Gear for Music available now. Gearfmusic.com. The link will be in the description of the video, so you can pick one of those up. But that's you know such a great sound for really not that much money and it's really well made like you're looking at the hardware and the shell and the clamp it's like really well machined so it's going to last you for for gigs and so on and it's cheaper than you know something that's going to cost you for like a snare drum how much is a snare drum how long is a piece of string you know the price just kind of goes mm -hmm. goes from you know 200 or even it goes from like 90 pounds really with something in 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 the lower end all the way up to thousands and thousands of pounds so to give you that extra texture have that timbale sound and also the tight sound. I think it's a really cool addition. But so far, it's not really too left field or too strange. Um, let's add a couple more bits. I think I want to actually get rid of your traditional snare drum. All okay. right. So I'm going to grab this, which is uh, Kaisha, which I think uh, it's a Kaisha, Kaisha drum. So it's like a snare drum. It's made out of aluminium. It's a super thin aluminium shell. And it's normally... Normally used uh, like in Brazilian songo bands, uh, and it's a really cool alternative to a normal snare drum, and it's definitely got a specific sound. So let's whack that on. While John's getting set up, we've also got a bunch of jingle janglies, as I like to call them, which is just bits of percussion that you can stick on the snare. One. This one is the parlor shaker, and we've got this one, which is, I can't remember the name of it. This one is. The, the waterfall shaker. Waterfall right. shaker. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. And this is like trying to mimic like a shell shaker, basically. Yeah. And then we've got some some bells from the Sonic Energy range. We've got a ching ring and we've got a shaker. So I think what we'll do first is if you want to stick that on the snare drum and stick this on the hi-hat, I reckon. Yeah. Let's go from there. And yeah, I think I'm going to put these on your ride cymbal. So, so, so far we've changed quite a few things. So where your traditional rack tom would be, we've got a pair of bongos. Yeah. Where... Where, where nothing would be, we've got the timbale, we've got the kaisha, kaisha songo drum where the snare drum would be, and we've got a bunch of jingle jangles uh, on all the cymbals. Uh, and I'm excited for you to uh, give us a bit of a play. Wow. It sounds so different from the start of the video when we had just that traditional sort of drum set sound. Now we've got loads of different textures and loads of different things going yeah. on. And this is what makes it fun and exciting. You know, 
you don't have to every time you want to change your drum sound, buy a new drum kit no. or buy a new cymbal because we understand that as being in the industry that drumming and drum equipment is really expensive yeah. and just buying something like some jingles, like I just literally, like he was playing the, the smack stack there. It sounds amazing on its own, but just whacking the chingering on there. Yeah, just it makes gave a big it, difference. That it, little bit of high end just uh, changes it, yeah. It's cool and this is when you get really into fine tuning your sound and having yeah. a distinctive sound. And I think as a drummer, once you get to a point, it's something that you start looking for. And I think I think you at the moment have a quite a distinctive sound with the way that you tune your drums and the percussion that you use. So I can kind of tell it's you playing the drums just by just by listening to it. And trying out different things and going on a journey is is a great way to get there. Yeah, I think it's it's a little bit of trial and error with mm. with things. It's very easy to to fall into certain paths and sounding like sounding like other people and not mm. really finding your own sound. Um, but yeah, adding these these couple of things, it doesn't have to be all of this, but yeah. adding one or two can sometimes just tilt you in the right direction to something new, which mm. is which is difficult to yeah. do. But and it can even be like putting something on a symbol and just the way that the symbol reacts in yeah. terms of because when you add this on, the symbol becomes a little bit more dead and the way that it reacts under the stick will be a little bit different and that can push you to kind of play in a certain way or in a slightly different environment or quieter or play a little bit louder. So I think it's really cool and I think it's a really good way to express yourself and having that little box of tricks. Also, if you start doing sessions or whatever, yeah. it's really important because you can add little things to sessions. You know, the producer might be like, oh, your hi-hats are sounding a little bit like dull or you know you add some add some little i put the ching ring on there add some bells or whatever brighten it up a little yeah. bit live as well like the ching ring if you haven't got full closed mic drums yeah that ching ring sometimes can be enough to just push mm. your hi-hats through just a little bit more which is great. it is actually crazy how much a tambourine or these little jingles carry it's like you need to yeah. see a band and someone would just be playing the tambourine you're like miles away, and it's not mic'd up, but you can still hear it, like because yeah. it gets picked up in the mics. That top end just carries really well throughout the mix, um, and you can, like I say, like you said, you can add that to the drum kit as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, thanks for thanks for coming down. No worries. John, and, and spending the day with us, it's, it's been great, and we have lots of videos on our website of John playing all of this stuff, which we'll link in the description of this video. But before you go, I think we should add the rest of what we've got on. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, and we'll, we'll do a big play and I'll keep a shaker and I'll jam with you. Yeah, all right? nice cool.
Once again, John, thank you so much for coming down. It was Thanks for having me. Really interesting to listen to you play then and hear you kind of tell a story, but also having so much vocabulary because there's so many different sounds and so yeah. many different textures happening on the drum kit. Please do let us know in the comments below what you thought and if you use any percussion. I know there's a bunch of stuff that we haven't touched on, like cowbells yeah. and wood blocks. And, you know, the list is never ending. There's so much sonic character out there. Please do let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks again, John. Thank Cheers. you, mate. Bye.